Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to learn about file handling. Now, file i slash o stands for file input and output. File is basically a location on disk which stores some information. Now, when we want to perform any uh, operation on the file, then we need to first open it. So there is a sequence of steps that needs to be followed when we do file operation. That is, open a file, read or write, and then close the file. Now, let's start with file opening. Python basically has an inbuilt function that is open. Now, that, that is used to open a file. It has a very simple syntax that f is equal to f means file is equal to open. So, we can just name it anything. It is a, just a variable. Uh, the syntax is this open, then in bracket we need to mention the name of the file. So, this file is example.txt. So, let us create one file like this. It does not uh, exist right now. So, yeah, example, it is a txt file. I will open it. I will write something. This is our first text file. Let us save it. Now, when I run this command, this run in uh, this open the file in the current directory. This checks the file whether this file pre is present in the current directory or not. So, first we need to check what is our current directory. For that, there is a command that is pwd. So, many of you who have done shell scripting or who knows about this, uh, they must have uh, some information about what does this pwd do. It basically tells us what our current directory is, what our current location is. Now, to run the similar command in Colab, we need to first add an exclamation mark. So, if I will run this, I got this output as slash content. This means that I am in the content folder. So, just go here in the files and I will see all the folders that are present here. And I am here in the content folder. So, if I will just drop it down, there is another folder that is sample data. Uh, so, in the content, we do not have any such example.txt file. So, we just now created one file. So, what we will do, we will upload that file here. So, content, on content I uh, right clicked and then I clicked on upload and you can see here I have this file example. So, I uploaded that example.txt in my content folder. So, our current directory is content and in that we have uploaded this file. So, now if I will run, so yeah, it ran. Otherwise, suppose some other file is there, sample.txt suppose. So, it is not present in the directory. So, if I will run it now, it will show an error that no such file or directory is present, sample.txt. So, we just now created one example.txt file which is which we have uploaded in the current directory also. So, if we if will run this, yeah, no error. It has uh, accepted it. Now, there are different modes in which we can open a file. So, one is that depends on what task we want to do. If we want to just read the file, we have this keyword R. We have W for writing the file. Writing, uh, if we want to write something in our file, then we'll open with a W command also. Now, what writing also does that it creates a new file if the file does not exist. Or if the file exists, then it overwrites in that file. And X is for exclusive creation. Exclusive creation means that if the file already exists, the operation fails. It will be executed only if the file does not ex exist. That is why it is called as exclusive creation. Now, A stands for appending. Appending, we already know uh, that if something is already present in the file, some text or some characters are there, then if we want to add more of character or text or uh, more of the content, then we need to append in that. So, if we want to do that particular performance, then uh, act, then we will use this A for appending. Similarly, we have T which stands for text mode, which is a default one, which open the uh, file in text mode. Similarly, we have a binary, binary mode, which we use with the keyword B and then plus for both reading and writing for updating our current file. Uh, so F is equal to open example or txt. This is our text file. And this, uh, this command is equivalent to this uh, in which I am adding uh, the reading mode. 
why because by default any file gets open in the reading mode okay suppose now i want to open my file in the writing mode so what i'll do example.txt and here i'll write w which signifies the writing mode let's run this Okay, so let's start with the closing of a file. Now here, it is very necessary to close a file because then only will uh, it will free up the resources that were tied uh, with the file. And to do this, uh, we need a close method that is already there. So let's see how it works. So f dot close yeah so this is just a small command in which you use f dot close and then uh, empty brackets now there is one important step here that when we try this uh, when we do it this way then if there is an exception uh, that may occur uh, while performing some task or while performing some operation in the uh, file then this may not get closed completely so that's why this method is not entirely safe so here also i have written that if an exception occurs when we are performing some operation with the file the code exits without closing the file so we want a safer way in which even if there is an exception uh, coming into picture we still get our file closed so for that there is a better way which is try finally block in that first we uh, right like we give a command try colon and then in that we open our file that is example.txt and in uh, okay uh, i will not specify the mode here it's not needed now here um, i can perform any action or operation after this i need to write finally now whatever happens finally my last step should be that it should get closed so f dot close is my final step now this way we are guaranteed that the file is properly closed even if an exception is raised so even while performing an operation there is an exception raised in this try uh, try column then also it will reach to the finally uh, portion in which it will execute this close command and our program flow will definitely stop which we really want now let's see how to write a file now i have already uh, told that there are different ways, different modes in which you need to open a file while make it writable. So it is W which is write, uh, appending A and then exclusive creation X. So there is one important point to be noted that uh, in uh, specifically in the case of W mode, if a file exists, it will get overwritten. So suppose there is already some data in your file and uh, you open it in the uh, writable W mode, then all the data that is already there will get erased. So all previous data are erased. Okay. So please make a note of it. So you have to be careful while using W. So to write uh, in a file, there is a very simple write method. So let's see how we can write the code for it. So first let's open the file. So here what I am doing, I am making a new file text.txt which is writable. So I am mentioning w here. So if I will run this, so a new file has been created in my current directory. How to check? Let's go here. We can see that in this is our current directory which is the content folder in which we had sample data we made a example.txt and now uh, now we have text.txt which we just now made with the uh, writable command so this is 
the, we opened this with the write mode. So as it was not existing before, with the write mode, if the file is not existing, then it will create a new one. So you can see here, I have noted this. This program will create a new file named test.txt if it does not exist, which is the case here. And if it does exist, it is overwritten. Now, I want to write. So f dot write, and then I can write whatever I want to be added in this text.txt file. So I recently uh, read one quote which I like very much, so I want to share it with you, that God loves each of us. So this is, uh, let me use the backslash n so that we can write another line here. as if there were only one of us. I hope you understand this statement. God loves each of us as if there were only one of us. Now, I have written this and now I want to close this file. I have opened a file, I have created one. Uh, I wrote whatever, uh, what the data I wanted to write in this and then I am closing it. So let's run this. So it has been created. Now I want to read a file. So what is the steps involved in that? There are several ways we can do this. One of it is that you can mention the size of how many elements you want to read of your data file. So here, suppose I want to read uh, five initial characters of my file. So I can simply write read and the size which mentions the number of characters that you want to read. So let's see with this example. Um, I have f is equal to open text dot txt in the reading mode. Please note of this. And uh, one more important point is if size parameter is not specif specified, then it reads and returns up to the end of the file. It gives us the complete information that is there in the file. It reads the complete whole data file. Now let's do this f dot read. So if I'll run this. I got all the statements that are written. God loves each of us. Then backslash n as if there were only one of us. Now backslash n means that there is a new line. Now suppose I want to read only few initial elements that is uh, with size 4. So I want to read uh, only first 4 character of this file. So what I can do f dot read and I'll mention the size. Let me first open the file. Again, why I'm doing this again, why I'm opening my file again. The reason is that while reading, it has a cursor through which it reads. I'll explain this uh, shortly, just wait. Yeah, so F is equal to open. I have opened the file and now I'm reading with size four. So it means that initial four characters Initial four characters are being read. Now, one important point is that it read from current po cursor position uh, with, so here I want that I want to read it from the current cursor position with read size five. Now, here we can see that there is a cursor position that f dot read with size four means now my cu current cursor position has reached here. God space. So these are total four characters that it read. Now it will see its last command that was f dot read four and it will uh, change the position of the cursor. It will update the position of the cursor according to it. So if I'll write f dot read five now. So just observe this. It gives loves means starting from this position it is reading five more elements so the cursor position was updated initially the cursor position was at zero level and then it read first four elements g o d god and then space it gave the output like that and now the cursor position is there itself where it left it 
and when I again give the command f dot read five, so it is not starting from the initial position again. It is starting from where it was left before in the previous command. So it is starting from here. One, two, three, four, five. L O V E S loves. So this is the uh, uh, this is something to be noted uh, with respect to the cursor position. Now, very interesting command is there that is tell, which returns the current pointer location. Pointer means cursor only. So here I can see that my cursor location is after loves. It has completed God space loves. So it is here. So if I'll check current position of the cursor, so that is through f dot tell, f dot tell, and then empty brackets. So I got nine. This means that God space we had four already, four characters, and then loves we had five. So four plus five nine. So it is in the ninth position. This is the current position. So if I'll again do f dot read, suppose maybe five, then I'll start from here. I'll go up till here. Four plus one five yeah, each. Now this this was the current position of the cursor. Again, if I want to bring the cursor to the initial position or I want to change the position of cursor, then I can do that with this command. That is seek. So let's see f dot seek. And I want that in the zero position. I want that to go to the initial position. So it changes the current cursor position to zero. So now again, if I'll do f dot read four or maybe five, then I'll get God space L. So it already went to initial position and it read the first five characters. I hope you understood. Now. A uh, very important uh, function is that reading a file line by line. So suppose I want to read each line separately from uh, through my data. So there are two methods to do for doing that. That is using a loop or using the inbuilt function that is read line. So let's see the first method in which we are using loop to read a file line by line. In this, first let's. Uh, open the file uh, like okay it's opened already so we'll just uh, seek it to zero because we ran this command so our new cursor position is already here after l so i want that to again go to the current uh, the initial position so f dot zero yeah f dot six zero and then now i am initializing the loop for line in f I want to print each line. So let's run this. Yeah, so we can see that God loves each of us as if there were only one of us. So these are the two lines that I have written. Now, this was the first method of using loop to read uh, our file line by line. Let's see another method, which is the inbuilt read line. So I'll first open it the text file because again my cursor position has been updated text.txt in the reading mode then f dot read line so here it is god loves each of us now this this is giving me only one line depending on the position of the cursor now here also the same thing happens. Now the position of the cursor has been updated. So the cursor remains there. And now again if I'll read, uh, again if I'll do the same command, give the same command, then since the cursor was uh, remaining there itself, so my new command will start from the uh, latest cursor position. So it is reading the second line now, as if there were only one of us. Okay. Now there is a very interesting function again that is read lines. So you can note that it was read line that means a single line and here it is read lines. So this method returns a list of remaining lines of the entire file. So let's do this. It gives a list of all the lines. So all these reading method return empty values when end of file is reached. Suppose my cursor is already in the uh, end of file so uh, it will give empty values 
So again, what I'll do first, I'll seek to zero so that my new uh, latest position becomes to the initial position. Now f dot read lines. If I'll do this, yeah. So we can see that it has come. Uh, in, there are two uh, elements in our list. First element is the first line that is God loves each of us. And the second element is as if there were only one of us. Okay.